What is up, everybody? Want to do another video. This time, I did my due diligence. I had no idea until I read the manual about how to like find the version I was in. So, unfortunately, I did not have the most up-to-date track spacer. So, therefore, I removed all my previous track spacer videos. This one is going to be the more up-to-date one. So, just to keep everyone uh, up to date with what I have. I'm running, I'm running FL Studio version 20.1.2. Now I'm going to use these two tracks. Fair warning, they do not sound good. It's just for an example. I have the green track, track two, being like a drone. You see a very sustained uh, waveform, whereas track one, the purple track, is more dynamic. So let me let you listen to that. Again, sorry for how horrible it sounds. Yeah, sounds horrible, I know, but it's pretty easy to tell what's what. We're gonna go ahead and put track spacer on track number two, the drone. And here it is. I defaulted everything. You gotta you gotta hit that waves factory logo, and all of a sudden you have this menu. Before it just popped this up, and that's when I knew I was in version 2.5.2. If you didn't notice, there's a size thing. And yes, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because it's so amazing. Look at it, look at it. I was so mad about not being able to downsize it. I'm not gonna say this is the best way to do it, but I'm so glad you can because it's much better when it's not so ginormous. One more. Oh yeah, That's, that looks so much better in my opinion, just for my workflow. All right, so enough talk. Let's hit that play button and uh, see what we're doing. All right, you can notice that's the drone going through. That's the drone. All right, so let's pull up the mixer. Side chain. Or you can right click it, either or. Don't really matter. And then, now that we have it side chained, we should see what we have now. Oh, nothing, because I haven't gone in to it yet. Okay, so in this little drop down gear, you want to go into the settings and then hit the processing tab. Now, here's the same layout. So, even with the most up to date version, it still has the same layout. Now, before I was just kind of trial and error, just doing whatever, I'm going to just hit auto map inputs. That's just going to do everything for me and it puts the signal on the side chain. So now we have it on there. I'm going to turn the ratio all the way down and we're going to hit play. You notice it's really taking out majority of, of the drone, which is what it's supposed to be doing. With it being, you know, put so heavy, it's noticeable. So I'm going to tone it back a little bit. I'm going to do a bypass so you can kind of hear it. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. I mean, you can't hardly tell, but when you have it bypassed, you can tell that drone is just very, very prominent and it's very loud and it's very in your face. Let's hear it one more time. I'm gonna play with these filters. You know, if you wanna let some of the low end in, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm letting some of the low end through. I don't need to to EQ the low end because this is high frequency content. Very cool, very cool. Oh, in the manual, it tells you what the sidechain button does. And the sidechain button is like a solo for the sidechain. So 
if you wanted to fine tune these filters, you can do that by hitting that, that button. So let's hear what that sounds like. All right, so let's, let's crank this. Yeah, maybe not that much. You hear that residence? I like these filters. Waves factory, maybe you should take these filters out, maybe make it into a, a cheaper plugin just for the filters. I don't know. I, who am I, right? Who am I? But that's that's the gist of this plugin. And that is how you correctly route track spacer in FL Studio. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later.